moving on, as I was talking about Starfield, I'm going to try and be very quick because I would like to bounce my ideas off of Phoenix when he comes back, you know, kind of further. I want to hear this one here. Um, but I feel like my opinions on this title are still kind of similar to his to an extent. Uh, it. Uh, I'm like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Like I would say so far, my feeling is like a six or a seven. Like it's unfortunately like, and I hate to say it, I might lean more towards a six at this Ooh. point. The game is like, the game, it's weird because me and Phoenix were talking about it the other day. We were talking about aspects of it that we liked. And then I brought up the question to him. I said, would you say you're having fun with this game? <laughs> and Phoenix oh, no. and Phoenix sat there and, or, and he was like, that's, he was quiet. that's a good question. Like, there are moments oh, of the game man. that I enjoy and there are like, definitely aspects i like but i don't know if i'd say any time i've spent with it i could say i've, I've like really had fun mm. it the thing is is it's like it, it's very like that collector's mindset are you like a completionist if you're that kind of person where when you start a game you immediately want to knock everything out i could totally see how this game like like you land on planets and there are like seven points like the entire plant or the not entire planet you get like a, a designated section but like you know you, you get to go all you get to go almost anywhere there's a bunch of different things but the problem is as i mentioned it to phoenix is like i think he mentioned that the game is procedurally generated so it's empty. it's it's very empty like when you get to some places it's like like there are mo like the game has great moments there's one moment on a planet where I land and I start going to this one point I see and as I'm getting there the planet starts to shake and there's things happening yeah. loud noises and like like you you think that there's something that could be there or there's some something that's happening and you it's just a tremor and you travel all the way there and it just and there's just a thing you scan and it says uh this site is seeing tremors or this site is seeing some sort of planetary function and you're like oh. that's so lame yeah and then like you expect like a creature to be like doing something to the planet or mm -hmm. something like really messed up that you want to like destroy because of whatever reason and there's like there's so yeah. many moments that are filled with that like that's so that's so melancholy and sad yeah like, there, there's other moments where like i was coming up on a cave and like on the outside, all along the walls of the entrance of the cave, and as you go in, there's like this weird gooey, like, uh, root roots looking gooey. stuff going all the way uh, through it. And you're like, you're like racing in your mind. You're like, what could be in here? Is there like a, is there like an alien race? Is there some? Oh, Chad Levi's in chat. He said, uh, uh no, nope. he's online. No bouncing off me. I'm towards the end still. Meh. Towards the end of the game. Interesting. Oh, he he put a meh on it yeah oh no <laughs> oh um, man i can't wait to hear what he has to say <laughs> but i'll the, try to play a little bit of it just to get it out of the way oh my god it's it's like you said though you said like the, the game is is like uh you said melancholy in terms yeah, of like it just, it what, sounds not fun <laughs> what you're getting out of it um it like again it's like was, you do you feel like the like the amount of time you're putting towards it you're not getting this game is a huge you're not getting that it's a huge time waster if you're somebody who's a completionist there are other yeah. games where by doing going off the beaten path and by exploring a game in my opinion like skyrim made by the same we'll company you. where you're rewarded for going off the beaten path and doing small things this game and is even, not and even if you don't get rewarded you get like a really cool like storyline that branches off or something like that mm -hmm. you know like so you're telling me this one doesn't have that like, no oh. no there's none of that at all um Ouch. <laughs> i will say seeing as how phoenix is in chat i am starting to understand that like the real fun chad levi in chat says you can't just play a little game doesn't even get good till 15 hours in but that sucks like in my opinion if you pay for a game and you're just like you know it takes like 20 hours for it to get good it's like that's that's that kind and of then sucks. even then good is sub <laughs> subjective he says oh jeez. Um, 
it's just i don't know I, again like i was saying phoenix his advice is that the only way to have the most fun with it is to actually do either the mainline quest or the main primary uh side quests like them you have like a couple main side quests like uh um faction groups that you get involved with and i'm definitely noticing because i've started uh one of them i'm definitely noticing that that is where the fun is, is definitely had is with some of the side quests and doing that but like I, again this comes down to more of a what do you what do you like and what do you want out of your bethesda rpgs and I hate to say it, but like some of my favorite aspects of games like Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout, is is just like going off. Go like I choose a direction, I go in that direction. Whatever I come across, generally in those type of games, is super interesting. And it's like, unfortunately, here there is, in my opinion, there is next to nothing that's super interesting. Like. You're going to either come across some spacers, some pirates. I've come across very few alien alien life forms. Like, I think I've come across two out of, like, several planets I've been on. I've only seen two alien life forms. And oh, uh, Chad Levi in chat says, to be honest, I'm almost 50 hours, and I had to hesitate to say it's been good. Uh, yeah, it's... It's weird. It's it's also weird because like in a game like Skyrim or some of those RPGs, you you actually get like cool weapons and cool gear sometimes from going off and doing things. I don't I venture to say I haven't found anything worth of value out of any anywhere I've been. Like you just get credits and like you can collect almost anything. Resources, food, weapons you get off of people, but like but like, what's the point of it if I don't care about <laughs> about any of the stuff I'm getting off of anybody? Like, there's no like incentive to have anything like at all. Well, it's like, oh my gosh. it's like with certain side quests in the game like Skyrim. I can remember um, when you do some of those side quests or some of those you know uh, task oriented things. Like, you would all the time be gifted like some weapon or some really cool stuff that you that you pull off of something like. Uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, there's always some kind of gear you get, and I don't think I've. I think the part of the problem is, is like the. I think Phoenix mentioned it while we were talking, but this game goes the realism route, and the realism route is not always fun. super fun or super interesting. Um, you don't go into a space game for you know realistic space travel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Un unfortunately. Imagine a game just like you have to pay for a ticket to go into the space, and then you have to wait like three days in order to get to it. You got to get the money first, then you have to have a passport to go into space. Mm -hmm. Then you got to go. Yeah, like that. No, it's I, I see where it's, you're it's at. like. Is it super realistic that if I went on some planet thousands of light years away and I landed on it, is it realistic that if I went into a cave there would be nothing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah go into the moon, go into a crater, and it's just the, the darkness. Yeah, that's Thanks. realistic. Is that fun? Is that entertaining? No. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh this, this game God. is full of stuff like that where it's like you get to a place and you're expect Like, there's plenty of times when I've come across deserted um facilities, like deserted scientific facilities or deserted, uh, you know, there's all sorts of things that are everywhere. And like you'll get there and like the place has been ransacked all the people are killed and you're like geez Dang. geez what has happened here and then you look around and there's nobody and you're like okay, okay this <laughs> so so it's like a like a you like you find out you want to know what it is but there's a loophole like there's nothing there yeah and and then there's the, like like you'll you'll get there everyone's killed and you're like geez this is awesome what happened here i want to find out you go through the whole place. You find a computer that tells you what happened, and you're like, oh, "That is so like oh, okay. it's so late. That that's what happened, and it's like, yeah, I don't, can't even find like bandits or or something. There are like, times when that happens too, but it's still not, it's still not that interesting. It's like, oh, I came across a a, a building that's been taken over by space pirates, and I killed all the space pirates. Okay, you know what I mean? It, it it's still even the moments where like. There is something there. It's just, it's just not. It's not that. Chad good. Levi says Elon has to sign your passport before you could go to Mars. You have to actually meet up with him. 
Yeah, that's here's that's, a here's a mission for you. That's gonna happen, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, 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 that, I'm sure. That's, you guys are not selling me on this game like at all. Like I, again, like it, it's weird because what the game is bringing to the table, in my opinion, in terms of entertainment, is like w once you kind of get into the flow of how exploration and and what you're doing once you kind of get into the flow like you kind of understand it and you're like some of the combat is fun it, it just becomes like like the collective ocd aspect of your personality starts to become like i don't know like like i like that aspect of this game like i like the ocd like i need to see everything here and do all of this the problem is it's just like it, I don't know. For me personally, I think I told Phoenix like I can't play. Like I haven't even like I've I have been streaming every, almost every every game I've played over the last few years. This is one of the first games where like I don't feel like streaming it because it's like I can't play the game for longer than an hour before I'm like, okay, I'm bored. Take a break. You know, <clears throat> like in my opinion, <clears throat> like in my opinion, this game is not conducive to long playthroughs. I, at least I don't see how someone could play this for longer than two hours maybe it's like mm, that sounds horrible <clears throat> i don't know i mean even even phoenix is like he's he's a collector like he wants to 100 percent everything and he's saying uh he doesn't feel like he wants to that's like you know that's kind of hard <laughs> that's and then, difficult and then i'm like even curious i'd like to look it up but like there's a couple planets i've gone to that i've already been that I think because the game is procedurally generated, I think it kind of like even resets your progress to certain places where you've been. I don't know for sure. So then it becomes the idea of like, I don't know for sure about this, but it becomes the idea of like, if it's resetting some of the places I've been, what the heck is the point of me going through all this exploration? If, if when I go back, I just have to do all of that again, you know, it's like, Again, I don't know that for sure. I, f I feel like I went to a planet I went to that I'm like... Are More than once? Like, yeah, you've returned to a yeah. planet that, like, seems the same, but... It, it's, no, I, I have been there, and there's been other places that have popped up. And I'm like, I could have sworn I 100%ed this place. Like, I don't know. I don't know for sure about that. I'd have to look it up, but... And that's Eesh. another thing, is someone brought it up during a podcast I watched, is... um. He, Chad Levine chat says each new landing site is procedural. Places you have been are set by the seed and saved. So I guess maybe I'm maybe it's just in my head. He he yes. says they're they're set, but um, that's why you can make outposts. Ah, oh. hmm. interesting. All right then. But uh, oh gosh, I lost. I was too busy reading. I lost my trail of thoughts. Um, someone else on a different podcast brought up the idea of um. Oh, man, I lost it. Womp womp. Yeah. Oh, well. I don't know. It's, um... It, it, the thing is, is it's not a bad game. Like, I see what they were going for. I just, for me personally, it's just not, like... I don't know. It, it's not... It, this definitely, for me, is not the direction I want Bethesda to be going down. Like, I... If Elder Scrolls is as as like this game is i'm gonna be so disappointed which i believe phoenix said that um at, at, at elder scrolls 6 is uses the same engine once again it's like i mean that's their like pride and joy though that those engines that they have are like they're extensive they can do whatever they want with them that's their engine yeah so like i'm not surprised that they're going to be using it as well for elder scrolls i mean the, <clears throat> if anything They've probably been using that engine before they even did this game, so it doesn't even matter. So they probably just made a copy of it and then just, hey, let's do it. And I just thought about one other thing that just hit my head. How in this game that's all about exploration and searching around planets, I'll bring it up with Phoenix when we talk, but like, there's no rover. How is there not a transportation vehicle when you're on a planet? Like, you literally are walking everywhere, and it makes no sense when you're in, like, this futuristic scientific galaxy 
and like you're walking everywhere how is there no rover there's nothing to help you it's you don't even get a four-wheeler it's like how i don't know chad levi in chat says elder scrolls 6 will use the same engine but i think it will fare better the I procedural agree. stuff is what kills it here i doubt they will go that route for elder scrolls oh that's yeah he, he brought it i up. doubt it he brought it up like uh this is the point i was i was thinking of before i forgot a big problem i have with this game is like in past elder or uh, bethesda games everyone has like the same experience and they, they, they everyone has like water cooler moments where like people are like dude did you did you have a male person run up to you and give you uh a theme? An arrow to the knee <laughs> yeah yeah did you and like part of the procedure the procedurally generated stuff here in my opinion totally kills some of the like some of the, the 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 fun of like talking with people because like if we don't have the, if we're playing a story based game and we don't have the same experiences what are we talking about then you know what i mean it's like talking about the special experience you had that's all you really have at that point and it's like oh did you run into this no oh well this happened to me it's like oh that's great i never got that experience yeah it's like when we were talking last time about how like Oh, do you remember when you get the opportunity to blow up Megaton? Like, that's a universal yeah. memory that all of us can talk about that's similar. When it comes to here, it's like, you don't have, like, those moments. You don't have, I don't know. I feel like I'm talking in a circle. But, like, again, it's a good game. It's not bad. To an extent, it even feels polished in some areas, which is kind of odd for a Bethesda game. Um, it runs fine. It looks okay. It just, like... I don't know, man. For me, the for me the personality is like it's lacking. Is lacking. Like when you look at this game versus uh, the Fallout or the Skyrim, those games are far more entertaining, far more personality. Um, oh, I brought it up to Phoenix. If you look at a game, even like The Outer Worlds, which is made by Obsidian, which is a similar styled game, I think I had a lot more fun playing The Outer Worlds versus playing this game, which is it's weird. It's like Obsidian obsidian you know i mean obsidian's always been a great company but like i don't know i'm i'm very curious to see what like a game like avowed does when they when they when they come out with it and i one more point i guess i'll bring up while it's on my the tip of my tongue is i thought when this game was going to come out i was thinking okay so this game should be better than fallout 4 but it won't be it won't live up to like fallout 3 or oblivion or skyrim or stuff like like i thought it was gonna cement fallout 4 but like i hate to say it i i think fallout 4 i still think was better than this game by a little bit Fallout 4 was fun for what it was i mean i i, yeah. I enjoyed it i mean it wasn't no three but it was good i i enjoyed it for what it was so chad so, levi doesn't sound like this one is not as good yeah, Chad Levi in chat brings up a good question. He said, so what makes it good? Very tough question. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave that for the next uh, for the next podcast. <laughs> no. I would, I would say the couple things that I really enjoy, I actually think the combat here is solid, which is weird. Again, another, like, improvement for Bethesda. Like, I think a lot of the gun mechanics are, are good. You know, some uh, that's another weird thing is I haven't encountered any powers or nothing. So it's like you're you're not I mean, maybe later in the game you unlock powers. But like I've just been shooty shooty the entire time. And it's luckily the combat is good. Um, the pro Another problem is, is that the enemy variety is piss it's lackluster too. It's, it's piss poor. There's not that many different types of enemies. Most mm. of them are similar. Um, Yeah. Uh, combat's really good and it, it does do a good job of like the co the collect the ocd the collective thing is there like there are like a bunch of different areas you can go uh i don't know that, that the, i hate to say it, those are the two things i could think of that i took away i like the combat and i like the the collective the the completionist aspect of it um it's hard to say because like the, the 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 ship travel, there's not much to it, so I can't really say that's an aspect I really like. Um, the, again, the game is more realistic, so a lot of the dialogue and a lot of the uh, interacting you have with characters is totally 
boring. Whereas like with Skyrim or Oblivion or Fallout, your interactions with people were always wacky and like entertaining. This game is like when you do talk with people, they're like, you'll be like, hey, how's it going? How do you like living here? And they're like, oh, it's OK. You know, I like doing this and this. And it's like that's realistic for people to like <laughs> say, but like not entertaining. I don't know. I, again, I, I'm still early. I'm maybe a little more than 15 hours in. So we'll see if I uh, actually get to tackle some side quests. We'll see if my thoughts improve. Chad Levi in chat says, I've, I've enjoyed Fallout 4 more than Starfield, which is where I sat at. Um, he says, I think the combat is serviceable, not quite good. Well, so he's well. he's a little more uh, negative on the combat. I, I think the combat is good. It, it's not anything crazy. Again, this game is missing variety of enemies, and it's missing like, like you're. This is a space sci-fi game. Like, where is the, where is Adventure. the, where's the powers and abil abilities with combat? It's like, it's all just shooty shooty. And again, this game, if it, what's the word? It feels very, was it milk milk toast? Like, is that a thing? <laughs> like, it, yeah, it's it is. it's kind of a dull game. Like, you can get kind like. It's so dull that you can get kind of sucked in and and like just kind of find yourself doing things and and maybe having some fun, but I there's not much there in my opinion. Oh well, that's all I got it's... to say, uh, Chad Levi. I'm next time or uh, once once Phoenix joins next time. He said, "Spoiler: More powers come." Oh, after fifty hours, I'm sure. I'm fifty. <laughs> I'm more than fifty. I'm more than fifteen hours in. And I, all I've been doing is shooty shooty. There's not one power or anything. He says, but oh man, great. he just he just put it up and then he just like slammed it down with Thor's hammer yeah. and said, "They're not that great." Which it's like, it's like why, Upward. why have that in your game if it's not something early <laughs> on that's there? Oh my god, why is that? You know, like that that Amen. should be that should be an aspect that is implemented far earlier in the game so that you retain interests of your players like why are you getting powers 20 hours into the game like this is microsoft's like you know baby this year and yeah that's that's kind of hey man wait till they buy nintendo Woo! like you get what i'm saying though right like they're like you should yeah. want to retain people and and have people find some sort of fun and it's like like why is that something you get later i don't know uh, he says, uh, I forget I even have abilities. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, that's pretty sad. All right, so that's all I got to say. We'll see if Phoenix joins next time. Uh, I'll, I, I'll, throw, I'll throw in a few hours and see if I can get somewhere with it. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. The way me and Phoenix have been talking about this game, I don't see why you would be interested at all. I mean, <laughs> you, I mean... I mean, I'm I'm trying to like you know make Final Fantasy 16 more interesting. Now it's gotten so much better, but I don't think it takes nearly as much time to get good with that game that it is with this one. Yeah, at least that's what it's feeling like. Again, I I feel like right now I'm sitting at a six, like a like a good six. Like I don't know, with more of the I think with more of the quests and me doing some side quests, I think it'll probably bump it up to a seven eventually. But I don't foresee this game would have to do a lot to uh, get up over that. He says, to be fair, you can get powers quicker, but you have to focus on main quests. Uh, all right. <laughs> Good chatting with you. I'm off to play more Starfield. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a nerd. Yeah, he's over here talking crap, and then he's like, all right, I'm going to go play. I'm going to go play more. This what? game is terrible. Oh, by the way, I'm going to go play more. What a loser. <laughs> Have fun. It's See like, you later. It's like, I'm not eating. I'm not eating fast food anymore. Oh, what are you doing with? By the way, you got McDonald's today, though. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go have a Big Mac or a Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna move us.